Welcome Ramley, how are my Rams super fans doing today? I know you're doing great because the Rams just beat the Arizona Cardinals in the first round of the playoffs. Let's talk about it. In previewing this game, I said the Rams would beat the Arizona Cardinals if the Rams don't turn the ball over. And that's exactly what happened. Matthew Stafford played damn near perfect in this game, finishing with a passer rating of 154. It doesn't get much better than that. This is the Matthew Stafford we need going forward in the playoffs. He was just flat out phenomenal. He only had four incompletions, and one of them was a perfect pass that was dropped by Tyler Higby. He also had two touchdowns. Now Matthew Stafford was only asked to throw the ball 17 times today, but yet the Rams still won this game in a blowout, and they did that by relying on the running game. They did that by relying on the running game and relying on this defense. The Rams finished with 140 yards on the ground. Sony Michelle looked great. And let's all give a huge round of applause to Cam Akers. Cam Akers is back, guys. He is here and he's here to stay. There is no way in hell you could tell that this man, Cam Akers, just tore his Achilles six months ago. I know if you look at the stats, he only finished with 55 rushing yards on 3.2 yards per carry. But for some reason, my eye is telling me that he played a lot better than that. It's probably because he had three or four big long runs called back due to various penalties. This man looked amazing every time he touched the ball. And I know he's coming off an Achilles tear, but I think he must have an advantage. While all these other running backs are very beat up and all this wear and tear of the regular season on their bodies, Cam Akers is coming into the NFL playoffs as fresh as ever. And I know I said going forward, I still want to see Sony Michelle be our workhorse back and receive 85% of the carries. I was wrong. Disregard that. I still think Sony Michelle needs and deserves a role in this offense. But Cam Akers does too. I think this is a one-two punch, a two-headed monster running back by committee going forward. Cam Akers finished his game with 17 carries while Sony Michelle finished with 13 carries. I expect similar roles between the two going forward against the Buccaneers. Now let's talk about these wide receivers. Odell Beckham was everywhere. He was great. He was phenomenal. I historically hate the end zone fade. I think if you look at the statistics, it doesn't work a lot. Uh, it's one of the worst red zone calls in, in the NFL. With that being said, I think Odell Beckham has now caught three of them. That's three of them in only seven games he played with the Rams. I think a lot of that has to do with Matthew Stafford. He throws a beautiful end zone fade. And I think a lot of that has to do with having Calvin Johnson on his team all those years. And Odell Beckham is the perfect guy to throw it to now because man, oh man, he can jump over that defender. and He gets that ball at the perfect point. And he's even out here throwing passes. He threw a 40 yard completion today. He was great. Uh, to me, this was by far the best game of his season. He did most of his damage in the first half. You know, the second half, the Rams kind of took their foot off the gas a little bit. Their defense came up with big plays and uh, Matthew Stafford and company didn't really have to pass the ball through the air much. This game would have probably been a lot bigger for Odell Beckham if they continued uh, you know, with their foot on the gas the whole game. Uh, then you have Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup didn't have a big game statistically. Only having five catches for 61 yards. But Cooper Cup has entered this stratosphere of Aaron Donald-like, where Aaron Donald might not put up huge numbers statistically, but he's constantly making an impact on the field, specifically by getting doubled and triple teamed and leaving everybody else in one-on-one -on -one coverage. The same thing is now happening to Cooper Cup. Every time Cooper Cup grows across the field, that linebacker or that safety is following him, leaving everybody else open. Sean McVay did a wonderful job scheming this up and making sure that if you guys are going to pay really close attention to Cooper Cup, then Odell Beckham's going to be open here and Tyler Higby's going to be open here. Uh, it was phenomenal to see. Even though Cooper Cup wasn't making huge plays in the passing game, he was getting everybody else open. And as good as that offense was today, this defense played even better. Kyler Murray finished with a passer rating of 40.9 this was his worst passer rating of the season and of course it came in the biggest game of his career and the big fellas up front consistently stopped the run we only gave up 61 yards on the ground for 3.4 yards per carry now that's huge especially when you're playing a quarterback as mobile as kyler murray he could have easily got 61 yards on the ground himself this rams defense played great a lot of people have been asking me does von miller to even play for this team i think von miller has really turned it up these last couple games and I expect a lot from him going forward. Kyler Murray finished this game with 137 passing yards. 
137 passing yards. The Rams finished this game with 140 rushing yards. We ran for more yards than they threw, and they were down the whole game. This defense played great. This Rams defense has now played great for about six games straight, outside of two quarters against the 49ers a couple weeks ago. And I told you then, I believe that that was just an anomaly, that that would not happen going forward. I am very excited at what I'm seeing today. And to be honest, guys, I was very nervous going into this game. We literally went into this game with half of our secondary not playing. Both of our starting safeties were both out. Jordan Fuller's out for the rest of the season and Taylor Rapp is in concussion protocol. And yet this defense probably played their best game of the year. Marquise Copeland had a great interception. David Long Jr. had a great interception and a touchdown. Kyler Murray was in his own end zone. Instead of taking the sack, he panicked and just threw the ball up for grabs. David Long Jr. made a great play on the ball and walked right in for a touchdown. It felt so good to be on the opposite end of that. We've seen Matthew Stafford do that a few times this year. Man, it felt good to be on the opposite end. And to top it all off, Brandon Powell looked great returning kicks. He didn't really break any big plays in the kick returning or punt returning game, uh, but he did a great job knowing when to fair catch the ball and when to run the ball. And also, Matt Gay is still perfect on the season. It feels great to know that whenever your kicker goes out there, he's almost automatic. This was a perfect game all around. If I could nitpick, and you guys know I'm gonna nitpick just a little bit. The only issue I have is that there was a third down play where Matthew Stafford threw the ball to Tyler Higbee, hit him right in the hands, and he dropped what would have been a drive continuing first down. We gotta stop dropping these passes, especially on third down when you have an easy first down. Now that's one play, and there was another play, there was another couple plays right before halftime where Sean McVay uh, had a few coaching decisions to make where he could either be really aggressive and go for uh, you know like another three points on the board or we could just kind of run the ball out and go into halftime with a 21 point lead and I don't know if I necessarily want to kill him but I personally would like to see him be very aggressive there throwing another three points on the board and really go for it but you know after seeing what happened last week against the Niners we kind of got aggressive there trying to go for it. We didn't. We gave them the ball. Uh, they marched down the field, kicked the field goal right before halftime, and it kind of gave them the momentum they needed going forward to get back in the game. Coach McVay decided to sit on the ball, not be aggressive, and go for the extra points and go on a halftime up 21-0. I understand it. If I'm nitpicking, I would have liked to see him be a little more aggressive there, but I'm not going to kill him for it. He obviously made the right call because they were ice cold. He kept them ice cold going into halftime and they remained ice cold for the rest of the game. This was phenomenal to see. And there's nothing I love more than knocking a division rival out of the playoffs and hearing all their fans say, uh, we should fire our head coach. We should fire our offensive coordinator. We should do this. We should do that. We literally just kicked the Cardinals out of the playoffs and now their entire building is in shambles or at least their fan base is. Guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that bell notification button so you never miss an upload. And be on the lookout for my preview of the Rams versus Buccaneers next week in the division round of the playoffs. And if you're interested in more Rams content, make sure to click right here.